Oh, hey everyone, welcome to uh, another Suburban Explorers episode. We got a whole new cool series for you. And starting it off, Raphael is out in the field chasing down a lead about some weird little cemetery that somebody found in, a, uh, in Ormond Beach, Florida. There's this weird little tiny cemetery of just like a handful of graves. Uh, nobody seems to know why it's there, and so Raphael is going to check it out. Uh, we are at the Millsap Avenue Cemetery in Ormond Beach, Florida. This is a tiny little cemetery that most people don't know anything about it. Discovered by accident. It has the graves of at least two missing at sea, buried at sea sailors, right here. This is the Fagan Family Cemetery, as far as I know. These are the only members. There are others outside, but the gate shows only five graves. Captain William Hope Fagan, born 1891, died 1968. John Anderson Fagan, born 1925. I'm assuming this may be his son and died in 1995, also buried at sea. We don't know the circumstances, why they were buried at sea, the two of them. But my assumption is that they were mariners and either they died because their ships perished or maybe they may have been buried at sea uh, in a wartime situation. Um, but we just don't know for sure. The only thing that makes it interesting is that their bodies are not here. So Raphael has apparently found himself a cool little mystery there. I did a little bit of checking and it looks like just nearby there, that cemetery, at the ocean, there is an old shipwreck. Um, it's called the Nathan Cobb, and there's actually a marker stuck in the beach to warn people that it's there. It's still there. It's down there. Um, you know, I guess when storms happen, sometimes they can see the beams of it sticking out. So, you know, I, I guess um, the only thing to do is just go down and check it out. So, I think Raphael's going to head on down there with his metal detector and see if he can find some, uh, see what he can dig up, and maybe uh, who knows, might find an artifact. This place is uh, the location, as far as we know, of the Nathan Cobb, C-O-B-B, -B, uh, freighter. It came to this coast in a storm and they could not hold the anchors. And unfortunately, the waves, it was a northeaster, the waves pushed it against the sandbar and they could no longer take it out. So uh, it was abandoned right here and it was a wooden vessel. So unfortunately, um, not much could be saved. I hope to find at least some of the metal uh, parts of it, perhaps some nails that broke out from the uh, timbers. Uh, I don't think there was any treasure in here. It was primarily a, a commercial ship that brought timbers and things of that nature. But even just if I were to find maybe something, or maybe perhaps some of the things that people have in their kitchens, like, like um, spoons and things of that nature. Uh, this is not a treasure ship, but anything that we can find uh, will make for a very interesting story. <laughs> Looks like Raphael's uh, having a little fun digging up some artifacts. I don't know if he'll find anything or not, but can't stop him from trying. Metal detecting is a pretty cool thing to do if you're a suburban explorer. You can find some uh, really amazing stuff if you're patient. But you gotta like learn how to use your metal detector. We'll do another episode on that next time. I'll tell you something. This uh, Tom Fagan episode is really kind of kind of getting interesting. It's got me hooked. So we've got these Fagan guys in the cemetery, 
And then we have the Nathan Cobb wreck and some guy named Tom Fagan was involved with the rescue of, of that wreck. You know, it's like, obviously there's a connection. You don't have a family name like that and not have a, an obvious connection. So, so what's the story? Well, the Nathan F. Cobb was a freighter bound for New York and with a heavy load of timbers and railroad ties, stuff like that. And, uh, and, and as ha what happens on the east coast of the United States, uh, there was a nor'easter and, and those guys uh, could not hold onto their ship. They, they, they capsized, they lost their masts, they somehow righted the ship without masts now, and they ended up basically just drifting um, south, being blown back south by the storm until they grounded in Norman Beach. Um, and in that crazy night where the storm was trying to tear the ship apart, there's only five guys left on the crew. Um, a bunch of guys from the Ormond Hotel come down to help save them. Uh, and they try everything they can think of to get out to that ship, but they just can't do it. Um, and apparently one of the guys is Tom Fagan, who is the, uh, uh, the ancestor of the, the Fagans in that cemetery. Um, Tom Fagan, along with this guy, Freed Waterhouse, try to get out to the ship and drag a line out there, a rescue line. And they get knocked over and, and Freed dies. He drowns. He's lost at sea. No one ever sees him again. And it's just an awful tragedy. When the ship captain saw this, saw that this guy died trying to save them, he's like, he'd had it. He's like, I've had enough of this. And he grabbed a rope, tied it to the ship, dived into the waves, swam his, uh, towards shore with all he had, and they were able to get to him and pull him in. And then with that rope, they were able to save the last few guys on the ship. So this whole Nathan F. Cobb thing is just really interesting because Marcus discovered that there's a place called the Cobb Cottage in Ormond Beach, not very far from where the wreck is, and there's got to be a connection. So we're trying to figure that out. Marcus is uh, digging up whatever he can on it. I guess uh, we'll see. We'll see what he finds. All right. Um, Hello, yes, I'm looking for Tom Massefeller. Yeah. Hi, Tom, my name is Marcus Torres. I'm a friend of Bonnet Garrison. Oh, yeah, huh? Um, I, uh, I have my brother and my dad here, and we kind of have you on a speakerphone, if that's okay. Sure. Uh, How you doing, Tom? This is Alejandro. Do doing well. Uh, this is Rafael. Hello. Hi. Hi, uh, well, we're, we're doing a story about um, the, the wreck that happened there off of Ormond, and we kind of have traced the breadcrumb trail to you. And uh, we, we kind of sure. learned about you own this, this interesting home and, and uh, we wanted to learn more and I kind of tracked you down through Bonda and, and this is kind of where we're at. It's trying to reach out to you to see if we can meet with you possibly and maybe tour your home and if, if, if sure. possible, some, some would, would it be possible to video there as well? Oh, uh, yeah, you could take pictures and video. But... Thank okay. you. Thank you very much. One more question, Mr. Uh, Masfera. Sure. You, uh, uh, are you familiar with Mr. Fagan, the, the Fagan name? Uh, yes. I am, yes. Yeah, because we are also trying to make a connection between the uh, uh, the wreck of the Nathan Cobb and the little cemetery that, right there on, the, on uh, 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 Marvin. Uh, yeah, and we know that there yeah, was... I know, I know where his grave is. Yes. And so, uh, if, and if I... you have any information on, on any of that or... You know, if we, we wouldn't mind, you know, being able to talk about it and, you know, getting you to tell, tell us more about it. How long are you living here? I bought this in April of 2014. Okay. 2014. Come on in, folks. Thank you very much. Maybe a silly question to ask you, but. Why would you purchase this old place without uh, wanting to live here? To preserve it. Ah, for preservation. Okay. <laughs> These are pictures of the ship. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the different. Nathan that's Cobb. There. Uh -huh. And there's another one. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is the one that I've seen uh, published everywhere. Mm -hmm. But this is new. And this shows oh, the kind that. of mast that the Nathan F. Cobb Is that had. right? They were so huge. That's why they had to take them off, because the ship kept, they were so heavy. It was it, it, tilting it. They, it was tilting it. Hmm. And that's why, you know, they had to take the mass off to keep it upright. Mm -hmm. But uh, then they couldn't propel it or, 
or steer mm-hmm. it. Yeah. So it, five or six days later, it came ashore here in Ormond. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it starts to kind of, kind of come together, huh? <laughs> I mean, so Tom Fagan and, uh, and those guys from the Ormond Hotel worked as hard as they could to save the, the wreck of the Nathan Cobb, and, uh, and then his son, Billy Fagan, later on would go on to take salvage from that ship, and build the Cobb Cottage. It's kind of amazing how it all just kind of connects up when you, uh, you know. When you connect the dots. The floor is from the ship. The fireplace is original, mm-hmm. of course, in the chimney. And the wood on the ceiling is from the ship. What year was actually this built? Uh, this was built in 1907. These logs are the timbers that were on that ship. And this is what the whole cottage was built from. These two pieces here are the remains of the ship's knees, which is what held the ship up when it was out of water and dry dock. Yeah. This tree is also 100 years old. This one here? So it was probably a tiny little tree when the, when, when well, the cabin was you built. You look in that picture there that was taken in 1900, yeah. and that tree is there. Oh, there was a 1900 picture. So, okay, wonderful. Isn't that look something? at the size of that tree right there. Yeah. Yeah. So I should say it's well over 100 years old because it's pretty big in that picture. Too. Right. Beautiful. Fantastic. Yeah. It's been a great little project to just can, to preserve yeah. it. I can just imagine. Is this uh, considered to be a, uh, a registered historic site? Yes, it is on the city's list of historic sites. Okay. Yeah. Well, I bought it just to preserve it. Just to preserve it. And not necessarily to live in, but yeah. to preserve. When okay. I come down here, we have yeah. drop-ins and so on. Uh, fantastic. So very nice. Uh, hey. uh, the little cemetery that we we stopped to shoot some video. This is the Fagan French Cemetery. Now, the two of the stones markers in, uh, indicate that it was buried at sea. Do you know what's the story behind that? Yes, so those were sons of uh, Billy Fagan. Uh, at least one was an admiral in the, in the Navy, and they had their ashes dumped at sea. So that's what they meant, buried at sea. So it's really a really interesting story. This part of Ormond Beach would see many more ships run aground right out here, and it, to this day, it still happens. Well, that pretty much wraps up that mystery. Uh, it's uh, really interesting how just uh, finding some grave markers in a cemetery with names on it, you know, can lead to this mystery of a shipwreck, and and finally to the uh, resolution of that with the, the cottage that was built from the shipwreck. Um, yeah, it's really cool. And that does it for another Suburban Explorers Expedition. Um, I hope you guys are going to get out there and send us your expeditions. It doesn't matter how big or small, it doesn't have to be a big epic thing. It could be just something cool artifact that you found in your backyard. Send us a video clip and if we use it on the show, we will totally give you guys a uh, Suburban Explorers t-shirt and, uh, and feature you, like I said, on the show. So, not bad. Alright, until the next expedition, keep exploring.